Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. Again, I want to thank our sponsor for making it happen, Bank Hometown. And we just had our last segment with Dan DiRoberto from DiRoberto Property Management. Give him a call if you own units in Central Mass. Uh, he a uh, very reasonable price and a great scope of services. Thrilled to have with us in our second segment, Deb Davio, who is Fallon's Vice President of Medicare and, and the Executive Director of the Navicare Program. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. Or I guess I should say welcome back. Welcome back, that's right. Because we did do a, 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 a taping in the chamber conference room during COVID. Uh, yeah, we, last year, that was last, last year. Last year, I think year? it was, mm. yeah, yeah. Flies by. Well, a, a, lot, a lot having uh, happening right yeah. now. The calendar changes, uh, and we know that as it relates to Medicare, there are certain windows during the course of a year yep. when people have to renew or have the option to maybe change plans. And we're kind of in that one of those time periods right now. We are we are in the middle of it, right? So it is called Medicare's annual election period or AEP as it's better known, okay. right? So it starts on October 15th, it runs through December 7th. It's really a great time for people to, uh, you know, think about whether they've had healthcare changes, uh, uh, needs um, changed and need to look at uh, other coverage, right. um, and it's really a great time to start doing that. Um, it's really important to do your homework. There's so much out there, and we want people to make sure that they have the information that they need at their fingertips. Right, and so there may be people who are in, in, in a Medicare program right now yep. that have to re-up or have opportunities to kind of look at other places, but there are also people who become or are approaching Medicare age eligibility. Mm -hmm. And so maybe for our viewers, just we'll do like, you know, what is Medicare? Yeah, yeah, so Medicare is um, the coverage for those who are over 65, yeah. right? And um, it is, uh, parts there, there are parts A and B, right? There's, there's all that, right? We talked about that yeah. last year, yeah. but really what's important is this period particularly is when people need to shop around. Yeah. They're going to get their annual notice of change if someone's already on a Medicare Advantage plan or a Part D. Um, and with that, they'll get their rates, benefits. And so if they've had any changes or, um, uh, you know, they want to look at network and things like that, it's really important for them to do that during this time period to make sure that they're getting the coverage that they need. And if they're going to do that and they have questions, they should probably talk to a company that is an ex, has ex you know, historic expertise in this field that is up on current changes. This is a federal program. There's always tweaks and things that that's happen. Right. And so someone should be consulting with an expert and that's <laughs> that's Valen. Yeah, yeah, we've been around a long time, Tim. You know that, right? Yeah, we've yeah. been in the business 45 years. We've had, uh, we were the first to have a Medicare Advantage plan and we really uh, set the standard. Um, and what we do, we do really well. And we have a team of people that can, that can help walk them through any anything that they need to talk through. And so how, how are you handling those those inquiries and, and those questions? Uh, people call, yep. meetings, I mean. We do a, we do a lot of things, yeah. right? Um, I think when we, we talked uh, last year uh, during COVID, we had to do a lot of virtual. And yeah. we still do those because we found that a lot of people still want to do those. But we have meetings that are running uh, statewide. Um, uh, we have experts out in the field that are there um, mm -hmm. to talk and they can find that on our website. Uh, we'll also do one-on-one -on -one individual meetings. We'll meet the member wherever or the participant um, wherever they wherever they are um, to talk about the plans that and we so, offer. And so the website gives them those opportunities to learn, you know, go to locations, yep. make an appointment, yes. virtual. Yep, they can do that. It's FallonHealth.org. FallonHealth.org. Mm -hmm. Um, and if somebody you know, is on another plan currently, they're interested in learning about Fallon, same type of thing, go on the website, yep. questions change, help facilitate that process. Yeah, let me, let me talk about some of the things, right? Because we've got our uh, Fallon Medicare Plus plan. Um, and so for 2023, we've made some changes, right? We always want to look at uh, what makes the most sense for our members. Um, taking into account social determinants of health and things like that. So one of the things that we've done this year for our um, Fallon Medicare Plus members is our dental coverage. So on some of our plans, mm -hmm. we've offered a preventive dental, which is your cleanings, your x-rays and things like that right. with no copay. We've also added a comprehensive dental uh, coverage. So again, and it'll vary by plan and people can find that on our website. The other thing, uh, Navicare, which is 
uh, another one of our Medicare programs, and that is for uh, people with more complex medical mm -hmm. needs. Um, you know, we're always, again, looking at those social determinants of health and really setting the stage as to the, the benefits that we want to offer. So this year, um, uh, we're doing a pilot program with a company called PAPA, um, and it is really a curated platform for companionship mm -hmm. for members, um, and they have a Papa Pal, so they can get 60 hours a year for somebody to come in, help them with grocery shopping, take them to medical appointments, right. or just you know be there for them. And we found that um, I think it was 15 percent. We're doing a pilot this year. 15 percent of our members reported um, uh, feeling less lonely mm -hmm. uh, than mm -hmm. they had previous and uh, I want to say that we're the first plan in Massachusetts to actually uh, work with Papa. Well that would be kind of consistent with you know Fallon's history in the healthcare space you know innovative ahead of the curve uh, and recognizing I mean you know as, as people as you mentioned who have maybe uh, uh, you know, pre-existing conditions or or multiple uh, healthcare issues you know having that coordination having that support because we know sometimes yeah. those conditions can be overwhelming. You know, there's, there's a mental health piece to that and that's where that companionship is yeah. really important. Yeah, uh, yep. Yeah, there's the non-medical piece of it, right? And that's really those social determinants. Um, you know, I think what's really interesting too, Tim, is, you know, we were rated again um, four and a half stars from CMS. Uh, that is, that goes to the heart of who we are, right, our quality care and coverage. Um, so CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, they're really the, 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 uh, the bar. Uh, they have a star rating every year, right? So one to five. So again, we've, uh, for the third year in a row, uh, been named four and a half out of five stars. And that is really, uh, just goes to the heart of, again, yeah. what I said about our quality. And, and Medicare is a you know federal mm -hmm. program. That's right. Uh, you know, uh, not socialism, but it's a federal program right. that that yep. that provi helps uh, provide health care, making it affordable for for people and yep. individuals. And it, um, uh, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services is the federal agency that deals with states, approves programs, mm -hmm. and they have a high bar, right? They yeah. they they want to make sure yep. that the that the programs that they're funding, the, the individuals they're funding, that's correct, are getting the services they need. So that four star, yep, four and, a half. four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half out of five. Significant. It is very significant, and again, to have it three years in a row, um, I think says a lot, again, about our organization and our focus on quality and and coverage for our members. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and so. Uh, you, you mentioned some of those those investments, those, yep. those extra enhancements, or anything else uh, that uh, you want to add? Um, well, yeah, there, there are two things I think that are significant this year for Medicare specifically. Um, we've hired a new director of Medicare sales. Her name is Sandra Villalba, and she comes to us with a lot of experience on the ground. Um, wonderful uh, new hire and um, you know she's got great local contacts with our um, trusted business partners our brokers as well as our provider partners mm -hmm. um, and so we're really happy to we welcomed her on board uh, about a month ago um, and we also um, you know we we want to make sure people have information out there and so we've developed what we call Medicare minutes um, and these are again on our website but they're really small snippets to try to break down the complexity of Medicare um, and make them make the topic simple for people to understand. So they're called our Medicare Minutes, and they're on our website, FallonHealth.org. Yeah, FallonHealth.org. Well, this is great. I mean, I, I think you know the, the, the Medicare program is a great example of government understanding a, a, a priority and a need, but then using the expertise of the private sector to help deliver those in a cost-efficient way. And Fallon has done that for for generations and decades, and continues to do that. So. Uh, gl gl glad to have you with us. Thank you, Tim. Thank Th you so much. Good. And come back with us uh, for our final segment. We're going to talk a little bit about the Community Preservation Act, which is on the ballot here in the city of Worcester on November 8th. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown, unlock your potential. This 
is Radio Worcester. Local talk, local news, local events. We got it, and we've got opinions that you're going to want to hear. That Worcester will be thought of and spoken about. We're live every morning, 6 to 10 a.m., and if you can't catch us then, you can find us online day and night at RadioWorcester.com. This is your town. This is your morning show. Talk of the Commonwealth with Hank and Ben. Worcester, a city with heart, history, and promise. A hub of innovation in life sciences, education, and health care. Home to multi-generational families, first-generation citizens, and next-generation baseball and hockey greats. Home to great parks, world-class museums, theaters, and restaurants. Worcester, the place to visit, to invest, and to call home.